All right, so we're gonna be cooking up some loops in the style of artists like Rice and Tiller, P and D, you know, people like that. Count on the day, yeah. But yeah, uh, let's get into it. So all I have right now is this contact uh, piano pulled up. Um, it's a felt piano, and I'm just gonna kind of play around. Um, on the album, you can see that there's a lot of different um, sounds on it, but a lot of it is really based around the piano. Um, so we're gonna do that, put a little bit of effects on it, and then kind of see what we come up with. Yeah, so when you're going through and you're quantizing, you kind of want to make sure that it's not exactly on the beat. So this one's probably a little bit too before um, the three. So I'm just going to drag it back just a little bit. I'm going to put it in slip mode, drag it back a little bit, and maybe even a little bit. I feel like that's good. So when it plays, it'll just kind of roll in. And then I'll fix this sustain pedal now. All right, so now that that's pretty much on time for the most part, I'm gonna go through, add some effects and sub bass, and then yeah, we'll see where we go from there. Yeah, so for effects, I kind of have this chain that I use for a lot of um, my R&B um, melodies. So I'll go kind of go through each one and kind of show you what each of them do. First, I usually put this rotor. Um, this rotor kind of gives it like a swirly type of sound. Um, it's commonly used with like organs and stuff. So yeah, it gives that kind of like swirly type of sound. Um, then I'll go ahead and I'll put a phaser on it. So this is what that sounds like. Yeah, so the ooh. yeah, so the phaser um actually makes it sound really fought wobbly, fought wobbly, and what, bro? What are you talking about, man? All right, so the phaser makes it sound really wobbly and gives it kind of like a different dimension. Um, this one was uh the stock phaser that comes with Studio One. Um, I just kind of messed around with it a little bit to make it not so as dramatic. Uh, for the effect, but it still worked out. Next, I'll put a flanger on. So same idea, kind of make it a little bit more wobbly. Um, just add to it a little bit more. And one thing what you really want to do is that when you're stacking effects, you really want to make the effects kind of um, subtle and then kind of build upon them. Um, that's a really good tip for those of you guys trying to like sound design and whatnot. Um, yeah, uh, so we're gonna move on to the next one. Uh, next up, just put an EQ on it. So you got something lows, a little dip in the 1K. Then I'll put um, a tremolo on it. So pretty much this tremolo is going to kind of move the audio and the volume along this sine wave and kind of make it pulse a little bit. You'll kind of see what I'm talking about. So it kind of drops in and out. And then the depth, um, this just kind of shows how much the volume is gonna reduce by. So if it's gonna to go to zero, if you have it at 100, I just kept it at 67. And then this is the beats, how often the effect is gonna happen. So yeah. Next, um, I put auto filter. This is also a stock uh, plugin. Same thing, but instead, this one's doing the cutoff frequency. All right, 
next we have another x trim um i usually like to do two of them because they have two different patterns so this one's a sawtooth wave the other one is a sine wave um so when you mix these two patterns it becomes really unique in that sense and this one's gonna happen a little bit more often and it's gonna cause kind of like that side chaining pumping effect so That's pretty much it for the piano effects. Um, so I'm gonna go through and kind of try to come up with a few more sounds and then kind of see where we go from there. To be free, I just need a Don't let me go. 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 Let me go. Uh, yeah, so I just threw this vocal in from Omnivox. Um, it's by Slate Digital. It was a free download for a while. Um, super fire hooks in here. A whole bunch of stuff for a lot of different genres. So what I did was I just pretty much went through, chopped it up. Um, I think I'm gonna throw some Alter Boy in this. Don't let me go. What I ended up doing is that I ended up a little bit low Alter Boy on it to just kind of lower the pitch. Um, I put an analog delay stock plugin, Pro EQ to kind of narrow it down, make it a little bit muffled, and then I put uh, this Rev Plate 140. Um, it's fire, fire reverb. Um, it's super dope. Thank you. 
Pretty much what I ended up doing was that I ended up putting a pad and expand, um, putting the same filter on it using this preset. Um, with the pads, like I'd like to use things that are kind of high frequencies, so um, those upper frequencies because they really tend to shine through the filters and whatnot. And since the piano is kind of lower. Um, it really creates kind of like a nice bond between the two. So I ended up doing that. Um, I ended up putting up an extra vocal chop from the slate pack, um, as well as some reverse stuff. And then I end up uh, putting a perk from uh, artists um, drum kit. So yeah, uh, I think it came together pretty well. I think I might add a few more elements and then everything should be good. What's good y'all, it's Jay Benson. So um, I'm recording this after the fact because I wasn't able to talk a little bit, but now I got it. Um, so yeah, all I ended up really doing at the end was creating a few vocal chops and just messing around with the timing and adding a few little perk things to make everything sound a little bit more um, or less simple rather. So yeah, that's pretty much all I ended up doing. But yeah, guys, if you like the video, um, drop a thumbs up, subscribe, all that. Um, probably drop a new tutorial in a few weeks if this does well. And yeah, peace out.